Welcome everybody to the first actual video on my channel. Um, I'm going to introduce myself a bit and then I will show you the gear that I've been bringing for my through hike this year. And yeah, to start with, um, I am Helena. I am 23 years old. I had to think about that a bit. And um, most importantly, I'm a through hiker from Europe. And this year I will be hiking around 1000 kilometers in the Pyrenees in Spain and in France. In France. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, that's why I want to show you my gear that I'll be bringing for um, that trail, or actually these trails, because I will be hiking um, a section of the GR10 on the French side. Um, and then I will be starting the GR11 um, on the Spanish side and um, yeah, both together I will be hiking around 1000 kilometers and yeah, I'm super excited for that. So um, the most important things first, um, I will show you my, sorry for that noise, my backpack. I will be bringing the Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60. Um, yeah, it is a 60 liter pack, which is a bit overkill for the hike that I'll be doing, but um, I really love it because it's so comfortable and it carries heavy weight extremely well um, because it's a framed pack and it's not super light. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a light pack, but it's definitely not an ultra light pack. It weighs around 850 grams. You can remove the internal frame and then it gets a bit lighter and um, yeah. I especially love that um, the main compartment has a capacity of 36 liters, so it's not even that big. And then all the outer pockets together have like another 24 liters. So if you don't need the full 60 liter capacity that the pack has, you can easily size it down. Um, yeah, that's really nice. I love the color. It's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> and I didn't want to buy a new pack just for this. Hike. I initially bought that for the PCT hike, which I planned to do in 2021, but because of COVID, I couldn't go. So yeah, but I will still be bringing that for this year. Um, there's no reason for spending another $200 for like saving maybe 200 grams. Um, so I will, yeah, just use the gear that I have. And in addition to that, I will use the pack liner. Uh, it's a nylofume pack liner and uh, yeah, that will keep my stuff dry. Next important things, uh, my shelter. Um, I will be bringing the Gossamer Gear The One shelter, which I'm not having here right now. Um, it's in the US, uh, it's stored at a friend's place and I will pick it up next week when I get there. So just imagine a picture of the tent here. Um, I have not tried it yet, can't say anything about it, but before I was using the Nemo Hornet two-person tent, which yeah, I just thought I, I don't need uh, a two-person tent when I'm alone all the time and um, yeah, so I can save a bit more weight by sizing down to a one-person tent but also sizing down to a tent that is set up for the tracking poles. So yeah, that's why I will be bringing that tent. Um, my sleeping bag is the Neo Air x Lite, I think it is. Yeah, the yellow one that almost everyone has. I'm not super happy with it because I'm a side sleeper and I don't, I, I don't know, I don't feel very great on it, but everything else that I've tried was not great either. So I will just go with that. Then my sleeping bag is a, it's a Rev Mythic 600. Um, it's a 10 degree bag. I think minus six degrees in Celsius. Um, that was, I think that was the comfort temperature. I'm not sure what's the, I think it's minus 10, 16, something around there. It's a very warm down bag. Um, yeah, and I'm a cold sleeper, so I really need a very warm bag. Even though I'm hiking in the summer, I'm usually freezing cold at night. Um, yeah, um, I don't really feel ready for the quilt game yet, so I will be bringing the sleeping bag. Um, yeah, I feel very good with that. So I'm just bringing that little bit of extra weight um, to feel great. Um, so the next things, um, what I bring for my yeah camp kitchen, <laughs> the 
Tokes Titanium Pot. It's a 650 milliliter, probably the most popular size. And inside there is my pocket rocket stove. It's a super light, small MSR stove. And I keep that little towel. I cut that out of my big one um, to clean the pot after cooking. And yeah, so that's my camp kitchen. Everything I need for cooking. I will buy the gas canister later because you can't put them on the plane. So yeah, it will be taken away from me anyways. So I will buy it in Spain when I get there. Um, yeah, um, what else do I have? Um, oh yeah, my food bag. This is, uh, I think it's a Dyneema fabric roll top food bag that can carry a lot of food. Very important. Um, then I have uh, this bottle. Uh, yeah, for some water storage. Two liters platypus water storage. Um, oh, I have a pillow. Should have put that to my sleeping stuff. Yeah, this year I'm going. I'm going with a pillow because the other years I did not have that, and um, I was just putting my down jacket and some other stuff in a stuff sack, and. Yeah, it didn't feel so great. So I will be bringing this pillow. You can just, it's an inflatable pillow, X feet. It weighs around 60 grams, so it's not even heavy. It's very light and I will try that out. It's, yeah, it's my luxury item, I think. Then I have a towel where you can see there's this cutout <laughs> that I did for, uh, for the stove cleaning small towel thing. We're getting to the clothing now. I'm having this Montbell Superior Down Parka jacket. Um, it's very light. Uh, I find it not that warm, to be honest, but for this summer hike, definitely it's good. Um, if it does get colder, I will have to wear my rain jacket above. My rain jacket is the Outdoor Research Helium jacket. Very popular among through hikers. I just bought it last week, so the tag is still on it. Before that, I had the Patagonia Torrent Shell, and I did like it, but it was very heavy, so I, yeah, I treated myself with a lighter jacket. Then I have a fleece, Patagonia R1 fleece. Yeah, it's very light, it's very warm. Um, then I have this. Uh, merino shirt that I will be wearing at daytime when I'm hiking. It's a devout hiking shirt. Yeah, I was wearing that um, on the SMT last year. Did a very good job, so I'm bringing it again. Um, I will also have uh, these long pants, running pants. I think from Puma. Very cheap, like 15 euros or something. But they feel great. Um, yeah, also what I'm just wearing right now, my hiking skirt, I will be wearing that. I'm not sure if you can see it, it has some pants under it. Um, yeah, it's very comfortable. Then I have a sleeping shirt. This is also merino wool, devolt sleeping shirt, also a small hood on it. Really like that. I usually um, wore it while hiking, but because in the Pyrenees it's very warm and even at night it doesn't really get cold so I will just wear that in my sleeping bag. Um, for socks I will be bringing the Ininji socks, uh, the higher ones with the like you know the Ininji socks with the toes <laughs> and then smart wool socks. Not sure yet which I will be wearing um, while hiking. I think um, that the Ininji socks will be for camp haven't decided yet. And then I have um, some underwear. It's also merino wool, icebreaker underwear. It's currently, uh, I'm washing that right now, so I can't show you, but just imagine black icebreaker underwear. Then I have the hat to, yeah, get some shade in my face. Very nice, uh, very nice, very cheap. I really like that. And I think that was everything for the clothing. We can go to the electronics. I have uh, a power bank, a battery pack. This is uh, 
Anchor Power Cord 20,000, I think. That's a lot of charge and it's super heavy. Um, yeah, the cable for charging it. And then I have this wall charger, which has three ports two USB-C and one normal USB and you can just get out the, yeah, you know, this thing. The water filter. Uh, this is a Sawyer mini filter. I know that <clears throat> the water flow is not very good with that filter. I want to get the Sawyer squeeze, but here in Europe it was really not that easy to get that filter. So, yeah. I was I will start with that and if it doesn't work in the US I will get the soil squeeze but yeah I mean I have a lot of time if the water flow is really that bad I can switch later but I didn't get anything else and I bought that last year ended up not using it in Slovenia because the water sources were always clean and in general in Europe you don't have to filter the water when you're very high I don't know I usually don't do it so um, first aid kit here, yeah, we have ibuprofen, magnesium, um, and some other electrolytes, tweezers for removing ticks if I get any, and yeah, so that's that. Then I have my toiletries, and just a toothbrush, and some small size, travel sized uh, toothpaste. What did I say? Sunscreen and a hairbrush because. Um, I have this very weird haircut, which I don't like. <laughs> but if I don't brush my hair in the morning, it's just like, uh, and I have, yeah, these. It will grow out. My Garmin InReach Mini satellite communication device. Um, yeah, I think you know what that is. Um, my headlamp, it's a black diamond Cosmo, I think, yeah. It's not very light. I had that and I didn't want to buy a new one just for this trail. Maybe in the future. Then I have this uh, Opinel knife. Yeah, very nice. I have the, that for quite some years. It's pretty light and yeah, I like it. That's my passport, my driver's license and everything that I need um, in the small Dyneema bag. And the last thing is my fanny pack. Yeah, that's it. It's a Fjell, Fjellreven fanny pack. Not super light, but it's quite light. This is 1.5 liters. So I really like to be able to put my phone and my power bank inside. And I like the color, so it's my backpack. And I just saw that pretty much all of my gear is blue or green or something in between. Uh, yeah, that's my gear. I hope I did not forget anything. Uh, I will get um, water bottles just um, when I go, I don't know. Um, they probably don't have smart water bottles in, in Spain, but maybe I will bring two from, from the US and then, yeah, I'll see what I'll be doing. I forgot my hiking poles. <laughs> I have these black diamond hiking poles. Uh, not really sure. I think they're called Trail Pro something. They're not light. They are, yeah, not light, but I have them for a few years now. I changed the tips and they're doing a good job. I forgot my shoes. Um, I have the Ultra Lone Peak 5s. These and I love the color. I hope I can find them again because I will need a new pair before starting on the trail. But yeah, now I really hope that I have everything. Thank you for watching. I will be uploading some videos uh, when I'm on trail. I hope to be able to show you the beauty of Spain and the Pyrenees. And maybe I will also put a few videos from the US when I'm there. I will be hiking, visiting friends, whatever, just having a good time. And yeah, stay tuned. My hike on the GR11 will start on July, I think, July 13th, maybe? I think, yeah, around that time, probably. And then it will take me yeah, maximum of two months. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, see you in the next video and uh, goodbye.